Alex Klein for BoxMS.com here with Memphis Commit, Will Barton. Will, how are you today? I'm doing real well, man. We had a big game today against St. Thomas More pulled out the win, so I'm doing real well. And right behind you is your teammate and Syracuse Commit, CJ Fair. CJ, how are you doing? I'm good, I'm good. How about you? I'm pretty good. So, first off, Will, you wanted to have a real deep interview and all, and one of the topics you wanted to cover was your quest to become the number one, one of the best players in the country and a McDonald's All-American. Could you quickly discuss that? Yeah, you know, um, working working very hard in the gym right now, you know, two a days, practice, and, you know, games. You know, just trying to become, you know, a better teammate, more vocal leader, and, uh, you know, just play my best and, you know, work very hard so I can be, you know, the best player I can be, which I think is the best player in the country. Now, currently, you're one of the top ten players in your class of 2010, but until your sophomore year, you weren't really known by anyone. Yeah, I wasn't. Um, I really went my 10th grade year. I noticed until, you know, to, until the summer, actually, summer and spring, had a good spring and summer. And I still, I had got ranked, you know, like top 40, top 50. A couple schools were looking at me, but I still wasn't known, known. I just, you know, I had a... A, a well name, but I still wasn't out there that well, like like I am now. And you know that came from you know not playing in the biggest tournaments and stuff like that. So my eleventh grade year transferred to Lake Clifton, won uh, twenty eight no, I won state champions, I won uh, the Baltimore Player of the Year, and then followed it up with a great spring with uh, Baltimore Elite and a big summer with Baltimore Baltimore Elite. Got invited to all the big camps. It showed out at all the camps and all the tournaments, and you know, and it started from there. And then I really got noticed, and people were really taken by my game. I started getting a lot of attention. Now you're from Baltimore, as you said, and you've come from some tough times. Could you talk about your uh, past? Yeah, um, I'm from Baltimore, East Baltimore, to be exact, and um, you know, was growing up. Tough neighborhood. My mom always tried, you know, keep my brother grounded, keep us out of the streets, just keep us at school. And on the basketball court, she knows we had you no know, talent at a young age, so she tried to really just focus on us playing sports and going to school and take care of business in the classroom. So, you know, I, I just, you know, stayed away from, you know, the gangs and a lot of the violence and drugs and stuff that's going on in Baltimore. I mean, it is a tough city. It's a little city, but it's real, really tough out there. But, you know, I think that kind of made me into the play I am now. You know, very tough. Um, not, 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 never scared of anyone. I never backed down. I was skinny, but, you know, I got a lot of heart. And, and that comes from being raised and growing up in Baltimore. So uh, I wouldn't change anything. And basketball has brought you a long way. Uh, why did you choose Memphis? Um, I chose Memphis, you know, I had a great relationship with Coach Josh Pastor and the assistant coach, um, Glenn Cyprian, when he was at Kentucky, then he went to Memphis, so I had a great relationship with the coaches, um, I went down there for the league camp, and, you know, I fell in love with it, the city was great, atmosphere, checked out the school a little bit, and the academics is tight, and, you know, another main reason was that they were recruiting my brother, and, and I wanted to play my brother in college. That's what we decided. So Memphis, you know, was the best situation for me. And which other schools were interested in you? I, I actually had a long, a long list of schools at that time. You know, Memphis, Kentucky, Kansas, Texas, Louisville, Maryland, Miami, West Virginia, uh, South Florida, Central Florida. It was a lot of schools. Tennessee, uh, I can't even remember all the schools off the top of my head, but there were a lot of schools that were recruiting me. Now you Arizona, could, Ole Miss. 
Now you committed to uh, Memphis, and it seems like a lot of the other schools, their fans really kind of hate you for that. They really don't like what you did. Can you explain? Yeah, um, I, I I guess it was a a surprise to a lot of schools that went to Memphis, you know, especially after Coach Cal left and. A lot of schools were recruiting me hard and stuff like that, so I guess it was a shocker to them. I don't know if so much the coaches and stuff like that were mad, probably just the fans and, you know, of those schools that were kind of mad, but that's, that's a part of the recruitment, man. That's a part of part of the game. Now, did Coach Cal's departure have any effect on your decision in going to Memphis? Uh, when Coach Cal left Memphis, I was... Uh, actually follow him and see where he went when he went to Kentucky. I was like, I was really, I like Kentucky a lot because I always been, you know, a fan of Coach Cat. I love the way he coaches. He lets his guys go up and down tempo and play hard defense. And he's a player's coach, you know, and he, he knows what it takes to get you to the next level and to make you better. And he's a winner. So I, I love Coach Cal. Now, originally reports uh, were saying that uh, Kentucky was your favorite, and you quietly uh, committed to Kentucky. Was there any truth in that? Um, Kentucky, Kentucky was definitely one of the highest schools on my list. I'm not gonna lie, I love Kentucky. Um, yeah, they was definitely my favorite at the time, and you know, things just changed when my brother said he wanted to go to school with me. At first, we didn't. We weren't quite sure. We, we probably were going to go our separate ways, so we were just, you know, debating about what we were going to do. And at the time, if my brother would have went to another school, then I probably would have been at, at the University of Kentucky. So, you know, that's how that went down. And, and Coach Carroll, he understood, and everyone understood my situation, my circle, and my family. So it doesn't matter. A lot of fans didn't understand, but it, it's okay. And you're a Baltimore guy. And a lot of people are also surprised why you didn't pick Maryland. So why didn't you pick Maryland? Um, I liked it, Maryland. Uh, I went up there for a couple of games. The coaches were great. They recruited me real hard. And, you know, uh, I just felt at the end of the day it just wasn't right for me. You know, it had nothing to do with the school, nothing to do with the coaches or nothing like that. Just, and in my heart, I just didn't feel like that was the place for me and, I know a lot of people, you know, expected me to go with the local school and help build them up. But that just wasn't for me. And I had to go with my heart. My heart went with the world. Now, it seems like a lot of local guys from the Baltimore area, like uh, Roscoe Smith, who recently committed to UConn, Josh Selby, C.J. Fair, who's right with you, who just committed, who, uh, committed to Tennessee, they uh, decided not to go to Maryland. Do you see a trend there? Um, I I can't you know really speak for everyone. I just know, uh, you know CJ he went to Syracuse like you said. Rascal's going to UConn, and I mean, I don't know. That's just they just don't think that's the best situation for them. And with this college thing, man, this is an important decision. You just can't make you know a choice just because it's your home school or because of anything. You got have to make you have to sit down and map it out and make sure. This is where you want to be because you can be here for the next four years of your life. And you have to live there. No one else can live there but you. You have to play for the coach and you have to live in that city. So it's really up to you. And I guess they felt that wasn't the, the best spot for them, so they chose otherwise. Anything you'd, Anything else you'd like to say, Will? Um, not really, man. Just, just out here working, man. Alex Klein for BoxMS.com here with Will Barton, a 2010 Memphis commit. Will, we look forward to see. We look forward to hearing from you in the future. Have a good one. Thanks, man. Day and night, I toss and turn. I keep stressing my mind, mind. I look for peace, but see I don't attain. What I need for keeps this silly game we play, play. Now look at this. Madness the magnet keeps attracting me, me. I try to run, but see I'm not that fast. I think the first